Virginia sweeps the season series from its arch rival Virginia Tech tonight, a 73-55 win here at John Paul Jones Arena. I'm Whitey Reed here on Whitey 365, and Joe Harris was the story tonight again. Harris has just been on fire lately tonight. 26 points, that's a career high on 7 of 12 shooting. I think he was 5 of 7 from 3 point range and Joe has just been lighting it up lately. Uh, numbers, if the numbers serve me correct, I think he's 21 of 30, I believe, from the field in his last three games, and something like 10 of, I don't know, he's, he's about 10 of uh, 17 or something crazy from three-point range. Um, I wish I brought my notebook out here. Anyway, Joe has just been shooting the lights out, and tonight outplayed Eric Green, the Virginia Tech star. Green put up 22 points, but, you know, he had to take a lot of shots to do that. Uh, I'm not going to guess on any numbers again. I think it was 6 of 17, 4 of 17, I believe, from the field for Green. John Tell Evans doing a great job holding him down there. Um, Evans making him work for a lot of his points. And same story as the last game against Virginia Tech. The Hokies couldn't get anybody uh, else to contribute offensively. Um, no other players in double figures for Virginia Tech. Akil Mitchell having a 17.8 rebound performance that was, uh, you know, not many people talking about it afterwards, but th those contributions were obviously very huge. And John Tell, we mentioned his defense. He, he looks to, you know, be being, he's a little more steadier than he, than he had been um, after coming back from that foot injury. So that, too, is another positive sign. And, you know, um, Paul Jesperson, the guy followed uh, after the Maryland game when he had that little breakout game with four three-pointers. Tonight, he had two three-pointers during kind of a key time there in that second half when Tech was maybe trying to claw back into the game. Jesperson knocked down a couple key threes during that stretch and, you know, ballooned the lead back up. And um, Tech never got within 12 points, I believe, there in the second half. And um, I'm not really sure what tech strategy was tonight. If you ask me, it was a little bit crazy. Um, I don't know what James Johnson was doing. Maybe he was channeling a little of his Mike D'Antoni. I, I don't know. After Harris hits one, two, three, three-pointers, you're just thinking to yourself, when is he going to, you know, just run Joe off the three-point line? You know, common sense there would have just said, hey, just get right up on him and make him put the ball on the floor, do, do anything, come out of that zone or whatever it was they were playing. Whatever they were doing wasn't working, and Joe was just getting very comfortable room and rhythm threes, and Tech just kept letting him do it, which uh, left me a little bit befuddled. But Virginia now on to North Carolina. Well, they'll try to make it four in a row when they visit the Dean Dome on Saturday noon tip-off from Chapel Hill. I'll be down there and uh, follow me on Whitey365, um, uh, Whitey's World 365 on Twitter and also on uh, Cavalier Insider. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you in Chapel Hill.